So you tied from 16 rebounds the other night? Yeah, you know, the shot wasn't falling for me the other night, but I guess you had some of those nights, and uh, I'm just glad I could help the team out and um, get the rebounds. How big was it for Redden and Justin to step up the way and the scoring standpoint? Yeah, really big. You know, my uh, I can't score like I usually do, and give credit to LSU. Um, really good defensively. They get a lot of steals and turnovers. But, yeah, Justin and Redden, Arthur, they all stepped up, had really big games. Um, Brett and Justin, as of late, has been playing a lot better. And uh, when they're knocking down shots like that, it's hard for the defense to defend so many options. Just talk about how important this game is to, at home against Mississippi State. Yeah, um, they're a really good team. They got really good guards. And coming off a game we played there, um, like an overtime win, um, it's going to be a really big challenge for us. Um, they're real scrappy. Uh, Malik Newman, uh, Craig Sword. Gavin Ware, they're all really good players, so we got our hands full, and uh, we're going to have to come out and play. What's the mentality? Like, are just having fun and nothing to lose, or is there, do you feel like there's a chance to, to get in the tournament? Yeah, we're not too focused on the, I mean, of course you want to be focused on the tournament. We're kind of put that in the background. Um, we're just focused one game at a time, and uh, we're, ha we're having fun. It's exciting. Uh, we're loose. We're not uptight or anything. Um, just having fun. Since the last time you all played Mississippi State, is there an area that you feel like the team has improved or an area that – uh, Coach Johnson has really emphasized y'all improving? Um, you know, that started the win streak. Uh, we got it going after the Mississippi State game. I think that our defensively, we're a lot more active. We're communicating a lot more. And um, offensively, we're sharing the ball a lot well, a lot, a lot better, I should say. Uh, Rhett has done a great job at the point guard position. And then when he's moved over to the two guard, Justin's came in and he's done really well. So I think uh, ball movement and just activity defensively is uh, the big biggest point. We've Did you think it had like this kind of season they're having and, and how much do you credit uh, Avery Johnson for, for your development? Yeah, Coach Johnson, um, he's a great coach. Uh, also, you can tell he's a great skill development. Uh, the off season when he got here, he went straight to work. He uh, helped us each, each individually improve a lot better, offensively and defensively. So I think that's really played a big impact on um, spe specifically my uh, role. You know, I've come in, I was struggling at the beginning of the season shooting, and he just had confidence in me, and uh, I just stuck with it, and uh, it's, I got a lot better as the season went on. Obviously, uh, you know, the last game, you were struggling against just, you know, I think I started over a five, but that didn't affect your, your game on the defensive end and rebound and stuff. So how did you kind of keep your head about you and do what you did rebound the ball? Yeah, I just figured, you know, I just wanted to win. Uh, most importantly, uh, that's the most important thing to me is just winning. So I figured if I wasn't making shots, I had to do something else to help the team. I knew that LSU was a really good offensive rebounding team. Uh, ben Simmons and Quarterman and all the guards they have that rebound the ball well. So I figured if I could help deep, uh, rebounding, then um, it will help us get out in transition and uh, give them second chance points would go down. So I just tried to do that, and uh, I'm just glad we got the win. This run of uh, success kind of – uh, coordinated a little bit with also you get you getting the starting spot and Justin becoming that kind of that six man a little bit. So can you kind of just talk about that relationship with him and kind of I mean you he was starting before you kind of got in there and it didn't seem to affect anybody personally. Yeah, me and Justin are my best friends. Um, I've known Justin since middle school, so we've grown up and uh, played together all throughout our career. So, I mean, that kind of relationship starting or coming off the bench, it really don't matter to us. Like, I can speak for Justin. I know that, most importantly, he just wants to win. That's the uh, type of competitor he is and um, the type of competitor I am. Uh, winning's most important. But, yeah, it don't really matter coming off the bench or starting. I just feel like uh, we're just playing better as a team right now. When you guys are in-game and you see kind of Rhett put together the performance mm -hmm. like he did, I mean, in game, you're thinking about the game and your performance too. But did you guys talk about it or recognize how good his performance was? Yeah, and at the time the game was so close, you don't really talk about it during the game. I mean, you kind of there's some wild moments. You're like, how does he do some of the stuff he does? Because I don't know how he gets to the goal as much as he does, but uh, he's just really good. But after the game, you sort of see the highlights and stuff, and you're you're kind of like a you got some wild moments. But uh, Retton's really improved, and uh, I mean, he deserves all the credit. He worked really hard in the off season and all the years leading up to this year. So um, I'm just glad he's getting all the publicity he's getting. What is what is that bat? Uh, saw in the post game yeah. periscope. Y'all have a bat mm -hmm. uh, after games and y'all sign it. What is what's behind that? Uh, the Kansas City Royals. You know they've struggled through the years of you know not winning many games and 
they finally won a World Series here lately. So Coach Johnson, I think he knew someone on the staff, and he got them to send us a bat. It's Kansas City Royals bat, and sort of like a memory of like how how far we've come this year. And uh, at the end of the game, he uh, names one or two people that had a really good game and helped us get the win. What does that mean? I mean, you were one of the ones, uh, you know, he hugged after the game and mm -hmm. kind of got to sign it. What would that mean for you personally? Oh, uh, it's really big. You know, it's sort of a big accomplishment. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, a sign of the bat is really important. I mean, you want to help your team. But I'm just glad, like I said earlier, we just, uh, we're just coming and we're winning. Because winning is so much more fun. I mean, we're having a lot of fun and we're relaxed and uh, maybe we we'll keep it going. You said fun a couple times now. I mean, what's... Is that the biggest difference from this year to your, from your first year? Just more fun? Um, I mean, last year was fun. I won't give down anything last year because it was fun. But I don't know. It was just a different atmosphere, intensity, like in the locker room. And um, I guess just winning on the road period is fun. I mean, the LSU game, it was tough. And uh, the Florida game was tough. But i uh, just give credit to my teammates because they stepped up. Is there concern about this being a potential trap game coming off the two road games? You got Kentucky coming up. Uh, tomorrow's game. Do you guys think about that? Um, we don't really think about it as a trap game. We just sort of go into the next game, uh, scouting our opponents. And uh, I mean, we played them earlier, so we know how good they are. I mean, they just came off beating Vanderbilt on a buzzer beater, and Vanderbilt beat us pretty good. So we know that they're capable of winning big games. So we just got to come in focused and uh, come ready to work tomorrow. Let's do one more question. For when did the, well, uh, you know, when did the tradition of signing the bat start? I guess. Um, it was in the beginning of the season. We didn't have the bat tool recently, but uh, it began early in the season when he mentioned it to us in a meeting. Okay. So. All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us.